Hello everyone and welcome to my first attempt at filming an English video. It's Pride Month and the YouTube recommended page is full of coming out videos once again. But the question is, is it really that difficult to come out as gay anymore? I don't deny that there are individual cases in which a conservative and religious family might make the situation a lot more complicated, but the general consensus, at least in the West, appears to be that gay people are just fine. And even if a particularly grumpy person on a bad day tells you that non-heterosexuality is entirely environmentally caused and inflicted on the poor victims of the gay disease, honestly, why should we bother, as long as we let everyone live their own lives? That is the essence of tolerance. If you are gay, then good for you. Don't care what a pathetically small minority of people has to say about them questioning your feelings. You've got your own life to live. And quite frankly, the people who are especially narrow-minded make it a whole lot easier for you to decide who the real friends are. Do we need Pride Month then? Honestly, I don't mind gay people expressing pride in their sexuality. But what I do have an issue with is the fact that they seem to still put a huge emphasis on the fact that it requires so much courage to come out of the closet. Why do I have an issue with it? Because it scares the people, especially young teenagers, who are questioning their sexuality and want to come out and are now scared because they believe that they might be rejected by their family and friends. People who make a huge deal out of the allegedly terrifying coming out process don't encourage others to do the same, but to remain silent. Even though in most cases, they would probably receive massive amounts of support if they did come out. If you are gay, I support you. And I strongly believe that the ones who are worth your love will do the same. Now, on to the second, but actually kind of related topic. Coming out can still be a very tough thing to do. However, I'm not talking about coming out as gay, but coming out as non-leftist coming out as conservative, or libertarian even, coming out as a voter for a specific party or a supporter of particular people in the political sphere, coming out as a harsh critic of the migration crisis, the welfare state, or coming out as a climate change skeptic. People like us tend to be shunned as evil and heartless immediately. This is a topic that has severely affected and even damaged some of my closest relationships. Fortunately, I have learned to stand up for my beliefs because the people who will hate me for it aren't worth my fear. I know where I stand. I know that I am not a Nazi or a racist or a right-wing extremist who wants to destroy planet Earth. But don't get me wrong, it can be extremely painful to realize that some of your closest friends don't actually care enough about you to keep an open mind for your most personal convictions. But, Naomi, you might say, politics doesn't have to be an integral part of a friendship. Sexuality, on the other hand, is literally a part of someone's identity and therefore it is way more personal. Actually, I disagree. How can I be friends with someone who views me as a Nazi but isn't open to discussing the issue? Sometimes just not talking about the sensitive topics at all can be even more painful. I mean, what are you trying to tell me? That I am a despicable, indoctrinated idiot, but I am just good enough to exchange a few memes with? What kind of friendship based on a lack of respect is that? In conclusion, coming out as a non-leftist in the wrong environment can be incredibly intimidating as well. But if I don't stay true to myself, I can't be at peace with my own mind. I'm not making this video to hijack Pride Month at all. I am merely asking you to expand your tolerance outside of sexuality. Sexuality obviously shouldn't be a big deal anymore. Political issues, on the other hand, are meant to be discussed. So if you truly value a friend, whether leftist or non-leftist, try to understand where they are coming from. You might just learn something from each other. Now all that's left to say is Happy Pride Month, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. If you wish to support me any further, there will be info in the description as to how you can support me. 
Um, obviously it's all voluntary, I rely on donations only because I don't want to annoy you with ads and keep the videos short and informative without having to go over the 10 minute mark. See you next time!